Hello, welcome back to Brandon Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to share with you how to wrap Suzanne head using um, geometry notes. And why did I do this? Because of uh, Nintendo. Um, this is Kirby, of course. And the other day, Nintendo posted this picture. And then I thought, okay, that's brilliant. Maybe we can try doing that using Blender. So yeah this is the setup well, one of ways to do it but i think this is like a a quickie ways you can use like proper cloth wrapping uh, to do this it's been done in the past but i just want to do it again so this is the setup we have two different suzanne actually there's suzanne cyberpunk and there is also suzanne smooth and this is the wrapper with the texture but i didn't oh okay the texture is actually manual but there's also the wrapper underneath that's doing that's doing it using geometry nodes. Okay, my setup is actually super simple. The geometry nodes is just like this. But there's also a modif uh, modifier combo over there. You can already kind of tell what's going on. So we can have like Suzanne Cyberpunk or Smooth Suzanne, whichever you like. We can just replace it over here with geometry nodes. Okay, this is the smoother Suzanne. So it's still gonna wrap, but I will use the cyberpunk for now. I'm just gonna drag it into the, here. So that's gonna be the, the mesh it's gonna be wrapping into. So this is the object coming in, relative. And I have convex hull and bounding box. Okay, that's, so that's the secret. The convex hull will always make like uh, this kind of shape. Okay, it's gonna wrap around the object like a plastic. And then the bounding box is basically like a square before all the wrapping. Bounding box will always cover it as a box. So, if we combine the two, convex hull and bonding boss, and then using mesh boolean, we're gonna get like a cut, right? We already have the shape. And then, yeah, the rest of them is just basically, I'm using subdivide and merge by distance, so we can have like a nicer triangulated area. So we can then shrink wrap it a little bit nicer, but I think there's a couple of steps that can be ignored, but I just do it this way. Okay, shrink wrap with some offset. And then solidify also something that I could just skip. But it's, uh, it depends. Maybe you don't need it. You can skip that. And then remesh just to make it a little bit nicer. And then lastly, this is just to set material. Okay, just give it like a Kirby pink color. And now you just decide how far you want this Kirby to wrap around Suzanne. Maybe up to the mouth, just before the mouth. Okay, yeah, that we might need to have solidify. I think this is pretty all right. So you can stop here. For example, okay, you're done with geometry nodes, right? You don't want to touch it anymore. Usually I shift D, create duplicates. Now we have duplicates and then right click, convert it into mesh. So once this is a mesh, you can basically texture it like normally. So it's just a normal mesh. We can use, uh, sculpt mode and just give it a cloth filter i'm using expand there's also inflate if you try inflate maybe that's more like a kirby type of you know it's because kirby is kirby is a little bit fat and chubby so maybe you want to have this type of inflation But yeah, I'm dragging my mouse back and forth. Okay, so we have that kind of shape. 
maybe not too much just a little bit and then you can play around with the expand just a little bit because you don't you want to have like a fat curvy look okay now now this is done we just need to add a texture okay so object texture paint we're gonna paint this but first of all we need to go to edit mode hit tab select all f3 smart uv project so we need to have some kind of uv then do a texture painting so let's check our material we're gonna replace the texture with a new texture so add a base color give it a curvy color kind of pale pink okay now we can we can paint some curvy texture okay so draw mode because Kirby's face is actually down there you probably put the eyeballs down here not up here I think that's the right way to do it just, Kirby. just make it a big eyeballs and right click the white shine right click and I think this is how you do it then you right click and then get a really bright pink that's for the cheek over here that's pretty much the Kirby look and don't forget to save it after you paint in blender you want to save it and it's a good, good idea to save it inside a folder but anyway for now it's it's okay and if you ever want to smooth this you can just do smooth modifier Move it a couple of times. So before, after. Maybe just a little bit. So if this one, okay, you if you want to have like subsurface scattering, you can do that. And it's up to you, maybe just a little bit subsurface, but you also want to control the subsurface uh, influence because you want the eyeballs to be dark color like that but you want a little bit of subsurface uh, I think shiny is better I don't know, yeah. that's the just ambient occlusion okay so that's pretty much how I would do the wrapper just very very quickly for Suzanne it should work for any type of objects as long you can have the bounding box and the convex hull working for you all right so hopefully you find this interesting thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye